Rusty Nelson and welcome to Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. Today is not the day that you'd be talking about golf carts up here, that's for sure. And it really makes you want to start thinking about the villages. So I'm going to run inside the gallery really quick and today that's what we're going to talk about is golf carts and some of the things you may want to think about when you go down on your lifestyle preview visit. And for people that haven't uh, come to this channel before, that's what this is all about. This is the things that I experienced on my first lifestyle preview visit to the villages. So this is my gallery right here in Kennett Square, and I'm gonna get back inside because I'm freezing my butt off right now and I'm really starting to think about the villages. So let's go inside. Yeah, this is a little bit warmer, that's for sure. And welcome to my gallery here. Um, but when you start hitting snowflakes that big out there, you really start to think about going down to the villages. I know today down there it's 71 degrees. A little rainy, but I think I'd rather have that than the snow. But I got to admit, snow's really fun for the first time. If um, you have comments or questions, please put them down below and uh, I'll try to get to everything I can. If I can't get to it, a lot of times other people answer the questions. If you would, follow the little guy and go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much to all the people that have subscribed so far. I really appreciate it. You know, today we got something that's kind of fun. I got Skip Smith jumping in. And as you all know, he's been around the villages for a long time. So in, in a sense, it's kind of weird because Skip's been there a really long time and he's got some great advice over on his channel. So if you can, go ahead and go over there. And me, I'm brand new. So uh, a lot of the stuff I'm seeing with virgin eyes, uh, you may so say, you know. Um, so thanks a lot for subscribing. Thanks a lot for smashing that like button. I really appreciate it. You know, the, the Villages is not just golf per se. And as far as golf carts go, I mean, golf carts are a major way of transportation around the villages. And that's what we're going to cover here. Some of the things, the key points that hit me on my um, lifestyle visit down there, my preview visit. And I'll go ahead and comment on those. Also, there's some things I bought, so I may put links to those in Amazon down below. But, you know, there's actually what I've read, there's more than 75,000 golf cars or golf carts, whatever you desire to call them, in the villages. So it's definitely something major that takes place. And they actually have held the world's record, I guess, for the longest golf cart parade and uh, kind of fascinating. So let's go ahead and get started right away. And uh, we'll start out with uh, the golf car cart that I got on my lifestyle preview visit. Let's go ahead and just, we'll just jump right into it. This is the cart that you get that on your lifestyle preview visit. It's a, uh, this was a Yamaha cart. This is the one I got. It's pretty basic, but really nice. Everything seemed almost brand new on it. So it had a range, I think, of 200 miles so you can easily get around. It also had two USB ports that you could plug your phone into, which was really nice when, uh, you were using the GPS, but uh, without it attached to anything, it flew off one time when I was making a turn. So I actually applied these little one inch Velcro strips, which I got through Amazon. I'll put those links down below. And then I took the other pieces of Velcro and put them right on the edge right there on the console. So it held the phone there while using the GPS. And I'll talk about the GPS in a little bit. Also, there is no storage on the cart, or there's a little basket back there, but there's no way to lock anything. So it just so happens that I had a drone box and I took and ran a combination lock through it, which allowed me to put some things back there and feel that they were a little bit secure, although I really didn't worry about it too much. So that's the basic cart you get on a lifestyle preview, and I would highly suggest just going out and running around in the cart. Uh, you learn a lot of stuff. Now on to parking. An added bonus to this video, and it's kind of important because if you don't know this when you come down here, you're gonna get shunned. 
You will get shunned. <laughs> yeah, so Skip's gonna give a quick golf cart parking lesson. Yeah, it's quick, it's easy, but <clears throat> as you see here how these park, carts are parked, here's the striped areas. Both carts are inside the line. They're not on the line, they're inside the line. Two carts can get in each parking spot. One of them always takes the front part, whichever half makes no difference, up front. The other cart will come in, which I don't even know who this person is, but when they come in, there's a spot for him. And on a busy day in the wintertime when the snowbirds are here, this is important. He can park here, which leaves me plenty of room to get out. And you notice he pulled his mirror back just to give a little bit of added you know, help. And so, this, this is the proper way to do it. So make sure you do this and you don't have to know the other person to do it. There's yeah. your There's your quick one minute skip lesson on parking there you go don't okay. park your golf cart in the middle like a car and block it for the other guy <laughs> they, right. will, they will shun you <laughs> all right have a good time when you get down here this is a trip i took into actually my first night really the into brownwood the paddock and you look on the right there's some carts parked there and these are normal except a lot long, longer than you'd find parallel parking as you go into brownwood the difference is if you look on the left and the right, right here, you'll see carts nose directly in at 90 degrees to the curb. And this is the way you park. Now there are large areas, and if you look on the far left and right, there's two cars parked there. If there's no cars parked there, you can go ahead and park your golf cart there, but try to take up the spaces that are already have golf carts in them. That way if people come down with cars, they can park there. But you just wanna make sure that you go 90 degrees in and leave room for the people next to you to get in and out of their carts. So let's go ahead and take a ride around the square and take a look at some of the other ways you can park. As we continue on, you'll see carts will kind of pull over to the side to let people out. And you have to watch because this is just like any other street. So you have large cars kind of moving in and out. And if you look down here on the left, this woman just kind of walks out without even looking at to see whether there's any traffic or anything. So you really have to watch out for people. And it was kind of a fun night, a lot of people around. And, you know, people just kind of walk out and have had a couple of drinks. But if you look on the left and right, these are the carts parked just like Skip was talking about, except the thing is, a lot of times there's people partying right here. You can also park motorcycles. You'll see a motorcycle there and another motorcycle there. But if you jump up, you can look down and see that people park their cars kind of like in big groups. And as the night goes on, you'll start to see a lot of people <laughs> kind of partying. And this was just uh, one night down at uh, Brownwood in the paddock. And you can see a lot of people partying. And this is not crowded from what I understand. All right, so now that you've figured out how to park, um, I, the biggest thing with parking is be considerate with other people and try not to get in the way of other things. But now that you've learned how to park, the biggest thing is how to get around the villages. And it's not just driving around on the streets. You have to figure out how to get around on the golf, golf cart paths, and they don't always follow the streets. So... I tried a, a couple of different apps. There's one app from the Villages. It's produced by the uh, developer. And then there's another app that's, I think, produced by some local guys around there that is really designed for the golf cart pass. The big thing between the two is the one is a pay app, the, the, not the Villages, the developer's one. But the other one is a $6.99, 7 bucks. For me, it was worth the 7 bucks for the golf cart part of the GPS. And I'll show it to you here in a second. The big thing is, is that the pay one actually has voice to it. So you don't have to keep looking down at the GPS. It'll actually talk to you. And it did make a difference. So for me... Seven bucks is well worth it. Here we go. Let's take a look at it. This is the front of my iPhone. In the bottom right-hand side, you'll see the Villages app, which is run actually by the Villages. And then you also have the Villages GPS app, which is $7. And uh, for me, it was well worth it. The big reason is because it has voice. So it will tell you 
which way to go. So go ahead and tap on that. And we'll take a quick look at this, realizing that I'm actually still in Kennet while I'm talking about this. But the first thing that I would do if I got this app is when I get down there and I find out where I'm staying, go ahead and put that address in there. Now, this is just a random address. And put that address in there. And this is your home spot because you're going to use it over and over again and put it into the favorites. This way, especially the first night, you know if you venture out and start wandering around how to get back to your lifestyle preview. If that's why you're down there or a friend's house or whatever, uh, you know how to get back there because it can get confusing. Now, the big thing about the app over just a Google app or anything is the fact that it will take you to certain activities um, or places. Say you want to go to a golf course. You go ahead and just start typing in the name of the golf course, which I was going to the Palmer, so Palmer Legends, and you just go ahead and hit it on there. And it will come up, if you scroll down a little bit, it'll show you either by automobile or golf cart. And what you want is the golf cart directions. Now, the automobile is kind of flaky. It kind of froze up on me a lot. I don't know whether it would all the time, but for me on my iPhone, I have a 6 and it froze up a lot. If you scroll down, this is what you don't want to use, the point-to-point. -point. This is just if you want to see how to get to point-to-point, -to -point, and it won't start the GPS, so do not use that to navigate with, but just to find out how far it is from one point to another. Now, there's going to be, I'm not going to go through all of the signs and driving all over the place because I'm actually going to do something about driving around the villages a little bit later in the circles or roundabouts or there's a bunch of other names for them, whatever you call them. But there's a couple of signs you may want to pay attention to and because you, you kind of want to figure out where you can go and where you can't go. Let's take a look at a couple of them. This is actually leaving the outer edge of the Brownwood paddock. And you're on a regular road here, so you're kind of treated as a regular car. The first sign you're going to see is right there, golf cars exit left to path, which is just up over on the left-hand side. Because you want to exit because the next sign you're going to see is no carts beyond this point. And that's what keeps you in bounds, and they are all over the place to keep you safe. You do not want to go out past this mark because then you are treated as a regular car. And if you get pulled over, you're going to be treated as a car with no registration. And it is actually a criminal offense, I think, in Florida. So pay attention to those signs and look for them. This is a very important one. A couple more things of importance that kind of struck me. One, I am not an insurance agent, so you may want to check and see what's covered by your homeowner's policy, whether you need to add that onto your um, golf car experience. Check with the villages to see whether your lifestyle preview includes some type of insurance, whether you're covered or whether you can buy an insurance, whether you can buy insurance, it's not real expensive. I think you can get minimal insurance for like $75 a year through a different insurance companies down there. But anyway, check and make sure something to think about. Also, the, um, the Villages Home Owners Advocates, the VHA, has uh, safety clinics uh, for people that live down there or down there. I think it's like every third Wednesday. And there's also a golf cart clinic. Like there's everything for everything down there, which is really great. And there's also stores that the Villages has, the developer owns them, I'm pretty sure, all around the Villages in the squares where you can uh, just go down and look at golf carts. You may want to be familiar. For instance, there's multiple seat golf cars. There are different seats. There's electric, there's gas, and who knows, whatever you want, maybe learn a little bit about it, just the way you want to go down there and learn about the rest of your pre lifestyle preview. 
Also, if you're not doing it through the villages, I don't know, maybe if you go to the hotel, you can rent them and I'll show you a clip here from the villages rental. It's got some prices on there. You know, that's this time, this part of the year, that's what the prices are. So don't go into them and say, hey, I saw it on Rusty's website or his, his YouTube channel and that's what it cost on there. So I want it for that much. I have no idea. I'm just putting it up there for a reference. Anyway, if you got any more questions, put the questions down below, comments down below. Maybe some other people can answer them. I'm going to do some more um, videos on driving around there, more specific to driving and driving around the roundabout circles and whatever you want to call them. Anyway, please do me a favor and I thank you so much for the people that have already subscribed. Hit the like button. It's really important to us, the folks that make these. Go ahead and visit Skip's uh, website. Also, uh, there's a book, uh, Inside the Bubble uh, by Ryan. That's, that's really a great book. I'll put a link down below to that. Thank you so much for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you on the next video or who knows, um, maybe I'll see you down the villages, especially playing pickleball. I still got videos on pickleball, the squares and everything else. So anyway, have a great day and I will see you later.